Hi Scorpio, this is your reading and I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you are a cyber angel, a, a, a truthful and faithful follower of the channel, I'm glad to see you back and I do appreciate you c being loyal and sharing and liking the videos. And I hope you will join us in, in the live chats on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and that goes for the new viewers too. So please subscribe and hit the bell and when you uh, hit the bell then you get three options and choose for all. Then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live. If you would like an extensive reading then you can find more information below this video in the description box or click on this white dot in the corner. That will take you to the website and there you can see what is on offer and you can also see the reviews on decks and interviews with the author of two decks, uh, Monica and Yasmin. I'm not using the decks this week, I'm using some um, Archangel Metatron and the Mythic Tarot and the Tea Leaf cards. Also, if I'm in, uh, uh, in the live, I give away free cards and see whether they resonate with you. And if it doesn't answer your question, then by all means state your question after giving a donation of a super chat or a super sticker. And I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, as I said, and I would love to see you there. And you'll officially be initiated as a cyber angel if you're new. The first card that I have for you, Scorpio, is the Wind Chimes, Peace and Harmony. So, great stuff, nice, nice, nice. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Mother Earth, okay, Mother Earth. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is Taurus and the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. I think that's right, uh, the first Earth sign is sorry the first earth sign is Taurus then we have Virgo uh, yes so she's Virgo the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo she has uh, green fingers so everything she touches uh, it grows and it blossoms and it uh, half and then you have the harvest after blossom she's a lot like the Empress she also stands for fertility and birth this could be birth of a baby or birth of a new beginning, a new job, a new house, a new relationship, perhaps with a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. So if you've invested something and you've been waiting for it to blossom so you can harvest, harvest the abundance, then this might be the time on Monday the 27th. The card of Archangel Metatron is Fall, so whatever happens, something is be being built on proper foundations and will bring in the harvest returningly. So if you have started a job, you most probably will be growing in that job and getting promoted perhaps, that could be it. Letting go, time for release. Okay. If you are going to meet a Capricorn, Virgo or um, a Taurus, then this friendship will be built on solid foundations as four means producti productivity, solidness, stability. In the middle of the week you have the peacock. Be aware, be, beware of great pride. Okay. Beware of great pride. So be careful with egos. Yeah, if you have an ego, it's n it's no good. It's too negative. It's good to think positive about yourself, but don't get big-headed. People do not like it because you will feel left out. You've got the Five of Pentacles, and you might feel left out, left out of a group or left out um, of a family group. Well, if you change that um, uh, that attitude, the ego bit, beware of great pride, 
if you change it to normal pride um, and proudness yes you can be proud that's much better than having a being a big head or having a large ego um, anyway don't worry because the universe and the angels have your back just show gratitude and thanks for what you have and you can always join a club or an other group if you don't th if you feel left out of your old group there are endings this is 45 and that's a 9 so that is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning you are held you are held perhaps in force the angels are holding on to you like I said the angels have your back where there is an ending there is a new beginning on Friday you have dog barking advice from a friend advice from a friend a friend might give you sound advice that you might be a bit too much of the ego tripping or a much too much of a big head so take that advice heed that advice on Wednesday you might not even need that advice from a friend on Friday you've got the nine of Pentacles don't you know be proud and be grateful for what you have you are going again a nine an ending of a face but you're going into a better face you're going into a luxury face um, because look at all the money that's in there you might have been promoted you might have got the a job at long last after not being able to work for a long time perhaps that's good news so you'll be able to spend time with friends new friends or family you've got the pink card number 26 um, from Meta uh, Archangel Metatron self-love and nurture yes it is advisable to take good care of yourself and love yourself because if you don't love yourself then you can't love somebody else if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of somebody else are either that is what my mum used to say and it is quite true because you practice makes perfect so practice on yourself it's number 26 so that becomes uh, a number eight you are in your power not only that but the number eight is also the money house the house of inheritance promotions so you might have a promotion but you might have also got an inheritance because look at the nine of pentacles that you have on Friday Wow just above it so that is something is happening with finances perhaps you're finding your balance and that you can save more okay then at the weekend you've got the valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success well like I said that is number eight so that is confirmation boom there you go you've got an eight again here the eight of swords you might not know um, where you want to go because you can't see where you're going usually this uh, this card is depicted with uh, somebody wearing a blindfold and being uh, tied up with rope but there's no knots in the rope and her hands are free so you might be too much in your mind so don't listen to the voices in your mind just take the blindfold off throw those arms down concentrate on what is in front of you walk through the space there is enough space to walk through so that you can see what is in front of you and so you can make the decision or choice you are on a life path the tree of life represents the life path you've got so many paths to choose from healing of the heart love learning how to chat be charming intonation you've got also your solar plex remember your solar plex 
that is the emotional chakra there's never an ending all the paths lead to each other they're intertwined travel on travel on make a decision and move forward you've got 32 so you might feel out of balance because you don't know what to choose there might be more choices you have a lot of eights okay you've got an eight here you've got an eight here and you've got an eight for the overall energy and you've got the eight of cups you want a new beginning you want excitement you want adventure but the problem is you are too much in your head I think you've got more choices and look at this you've got 88 so the angels are confirming again they're with you so don't feel left out of sorts don't throw old shoes away before you get new ones that is what I always say with the eight of cups the new horizon is breaking through but you have to make decisions and choices now for the overall energy from the Archangel Metatron Metatron Rainbow Bridge and there's always an opening always open there's always an opening you only need to ask him for his help you've got number 27 and that becomes a 9 so that means an ending again and you've got underneath this card for overall energy you've got family and friends so family is for you very important so make sure that you talk in a beautiful way okay and drop that ego drop that ego it doesn't you know ego people don't like big heads or people with big egos they want them to be normal and friendly polite so just be that okay as family circles of life circles of life the family circle is important life is a circle it's never ending it's like uh, you can see here it's quite prominent uh, this could be your ancestors as well so because the rainbow heaven and earth are connected you have guides that are with you too so I hope you've liked this reading so far I'll just recap it very short uh, very quickly let go of what is of no use to you okay it is time for release it is spring now it's not autumn so come on let that feeling of autumn uh, and dullness and gloom and um, go you can't carry a dead horse with you okay let be ready to blossom uh, you've grown so far you've been dormant long enough Scorpio come out and bloom be like the Queen of Pentacles then you've got endings there are lots of endings and where there is an ending there is a new beginning you've got endings number nine and here you've got number eight you are in your power to take that action you've got eight here eight here and eight here eight 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 three figure number absolutely awesome you've got a nine here and a nine here so again a nine here three nines so again three figures some I think the angels or the divine is trying to say something let go of the old don't be too proud to ask for help don't be a big head uh, you know be normal and be proud of where you uh, have got to okay you no need to boast about it um, you've learned a lot of things on the way and look where you are now be grateful and be uh, thankful and don't listen to silly voices in your head open your eyes be aware of what is happening around you not just within you or in front of you the world is small but yet very big that's the message join the world don't feel out of sorts don't be shy to ask for help and if you can help somebody else then by all means do that I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and
be blessed and stay safe. Thank you for sharing and liking.